Love you. So, what made you pick me? You like your girls a little gothic. Snow White evokes something a little dark. It is shorthand for asphyxiation or sleep fantasy. You know, I have a kinky side. Don't you? What do you do, Prince Charming? Short for work? You have uh, serious eyes, but I say it's something a little wild inside. Oh, no one is listening. Tell me. Hey, honey. Oh, look. Oh, that. See that. That tooth is gonna fall out any day now. How you doing? protesting Prosper and Sovereign Pipeline. On Thanksgiving, families across America come together to celebrate and to give thanks for food and family. But this holiday also erases the genocide in our history. The theft. Oh yeah, they do not like Prosper. Hey, so is that where we're getting our intel? 
from Prosper. Black Kite. Well, you just make sure they stay out of the way of the professionals, okay? <laughs> Thorough. That's good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, mean, I, I, you know, I think Ava's great and all, but she's just like those kids back at the camp. You know, I just want to get together, paint some signs, sing some songs, and then upload it to the internet. She's young. Yeah, but she isn't stupid. No, no, she's... She's bright. I totally get that. But I've been... I've been with her to four meetings in that Jasmine Center. They're all blowing hot air. You know, I'm not naive enough to think that we can fix this with... Facebook. Uh, I saw you at that rally in November. You like causing trouble. Okay. There's trouble to be had. I'm not going to run away from it. So. <clears throat> Are you staying around Venice? Where would you say you were? Um, what a hospital off Pacific. You know, before I got a job. Yeah. Not Samsung. No, no. The place made Samsung, but... Like a four seasons. This guy Harry ran it and pulled pills out the back. And, uh, he disappeared and you know, after a while the cops shut it down. So I moved in with these friends of mine who I met at the uh, the boardwalk. They had this movie thing going, so I got involved. It became kind of a big deal. It's fun. You know, we made these stupid beach horror films. No way. Horror movies are my thing. Could you give me a background one? Nah, nah, it's behind me now. Besides, nobody watches horror anymore. I you know, realize it's too crazy. Prosperin does they have two major insurance providers because they can't work on any of their build sites if they don't have insurance. Uh, but you can look that all up on their private page, download the numbers on who to follow up with. It's going to be another right right here. Yeah, it's about people. Find out who the top decision makers are in each office, get on their social. Keep on them until they have to act. Yeah, but how far do we go? No. Uh, did, you guys, did you guys hear about the Diablo folk, what they did? They bought a subscription to a firearms magazine for one of the shareholders, but it was under his kid's name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it worked, because I think he resigned like a week later. All right, let's keep it classy, guys. These people are looking for any excuse they can find to make us the bad guys. Let's not paint a target on our backs. We hear you, David. Uh, yeah, and it's a right up here again. You know, I mean, Alba loves having me there, honey. Well, you know, she's there to help. She's an extra pair of hands. What is this? Chris. Hey, look, guys, come on. Let's talk about this, okay? Uh, so this is true, then, what he's telling us right now. What the fuck, Chris? Yeah, yeah, see? Everybody, this is Simon McMillan, okay? He is a he is an employee of Black Kite, sent on behalf of Prosperin, okay, to spy on our meetings. You are trying to inform on our constitutionally protected activities, pal. It's called entrapment. You cut. And I had you over for dinner. In my home! Hey, hey, get away from me. Hey, hey, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Hey, why are you? Hey, look, he doesn't have a wire, guys. He doesn't have a wire. He's probably recording us on his phone. Get his phone. Get his phone. Motherfucker. Hey, look, I can explain. Hey, about Simon, one of the. Simon was a cocksucker. 
A friendly warning, man? You trying to do me like you did him? I'll take you down with me. Understood. I wish you could get them all to come out here. Is this because of Simon? This is because of Simon, huh? Okay, but how do I recover this? Peter must do it. Hey, Ava. Hey, so look, uh, well, here, take a look. This is some of my... What's her name? You are not Ava. Nah, I don't buy it. You used to be in a band in your dreams to be a singer, so come on. Okay, I won't look. You're about to say something? No, no. I know you're friends with Eric. His heart is in the right place. He's just hot headed. Okay, but maybe Eric is on to something, though. I mean, the Nazis, right? So decent people have to stand up to them. It... What? The standing up involves throwing punches. Yeah, maybe it does. This is a law enforcement issue. Okay, they have permits. The... Ava? <laughs> Who's there? Your wife here is raising her daughter all on her own okay. and holding down a okay. job. It's a lot to ask, David. <sighs> You know what? Look, I'll visit again soon, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it does. I will. Mm -hmm. Love you. And my wife, she's got to leave me when I go home. I know it. I'm getting fucked right now. And I just need you, okay? Oh, yeah? How? Oh, how, how do they work out? What? I've got a wife, David. Yeah, I've got a daughter. Hey. Hey. I'll keep out of your hair. Max, Maxine, Maxine Williams, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Your parents know what you do, Maxine Williams. 
Now who's trying to blackmail who? Okay, Max. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna run a marathon now, Maxine. Not that, that matters. Pookie? I just meant to be affectionate. <laughs> Don't call me Pookie. I'm in a meeting. Pookie! Hold on one second, I come down and let you in. Hi, Pookie. <laughs> But please don't call me Pookie, okay? I'm not in the mood. What? What are you talking about? Ava. Ava, listen to me, Ava. Listen to me, honey. You're gonna be okay. Listen to me, Ava. You're gonna be okay. Sure, you're gonna be okay. I've been accessing pipeline maps. For the pipeline protesters tonight, we've all faced the world to come. Details on Facebook. David! Oh, hey. Black Kite changed the plan. They decided to go deeper on Greenstorm. Yeah, they agreed to share their intel. It's a good plan. Well, remember the long games getting into Greenstorm. Come on, you've never been close to flipping anyone near Greenstorm. No, wrong. I let my. You want anything to drink? No. I'm fine. Okay. I'm gonna make myself a nightcap. All work and no play makes Karen a dog girl. Fuck, David. Why aren't you in jail right now? You need to speak to Ava. I'm speaking to you. <laughs> Tell me. I should have done better. Okay. What happened? Peter was our missing stare. And everybody else knew. But I was slow to catch on. He liked to, um give girls drugs, he'd make videos sometimes. He said it was consensual, <laughs> but 
sometimes the girls would wake up and they didn't know what had happened. Fuck. Fuck, Eric. By the time I found out, it was old news, you know, and I told myself, it's just a scene. There's lots of drugs and sex going on, and you know, Ava was attracted to Peter. Peter knew who all the bands were. Ava wanted to make a name for herself. She was very impressed by him, okay? So how old, how old was it? She said she was 18, but she wasn't. <laughs> so Ava accused Peter, and everybody took sides, and I told myself that I needed to be impartial, mm -hmm. and I let her down. Yeah, you didn't protect her? Huh? What was I supposed to do, David? Call the police? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They are already looking for any excuse to take us down. I couldn't do that. I didn't even have any facts. I just... I told myself it was a private matter between two people. Mm -hmm. It was a one-off and... Fuck Peter. Yes, Ava's good friends, Eric and Peter, will be there, too. Yeah, but, you know, the thing is, there's some bad blood there, Mike. Something she's not telling me. Hey, what's the, uh... Because you don't like his friend Peter, do you? Fuck Peter. Now, what Peter did was wrong, and he belongs in prison, okay? Okay, but what if Peter still has those tapes, Ava? But the sex is not great. <laughs> uh, books, I have a lot of books. Um. But do you remember when you said you wanted to have sex with me? Or else you're going to be having sex with an ice cube. For women, when it comes to sex. Daddy tried to kill him. She said, Oh, like, uh, only fire your weapon if you intend to kill. Pew. Agents, you draw your weapon, you have to shoot to kill. It's just special like that. Most agents go their whole career without ever having to, but, uh, this was personal. Abusive asshole. And he didn't. He didn't die at first. He was shot through the lung, so he. Kill him. Help, he says. This. be a special agent. <laughs> well, we can't all be astronauts, right? Wait till you hear from my agent. As government agents? Davey. Do you mind if I call you Davy? Okay. Well, now they do. So, Davy, you are the least horny law enforcement agent guy I have ever come for. Cops are normally the most twisted. Well, I can tell I am good at my job. What? 
I have questions again. Well, who is the best agent of them all? Hmm? Hmm? Remember why we only give these jobs to agents with wives. All right, that's better. Those two are your targets for phase three. Nobody calls me Davey. <laughs> How do you know they're not just saying they're cops? Davey! Davey. Someone did a number on your face? Of course, I'll never stop you from telling me about yourself. I find you fascinating. <laughs> Jesus, your fucking cat. I don't know. What time do you go to the dentist? <laughs> That's funny. Wait, no, I'll... What time do you go to the dentist? To the lady? I'll tell Mama to call you. Hey, where's your mom? Will you go get her for me? Take me. Take me anywhere. <sighs> Was your mom like a singer or something? No? Oh, okay. I was thinking, you know, you, but older kind of a grungy hippie look. <laughs> no, my mom works at American Axel. <clears throat> David, there's things about my mom I can't ignore anymore. And when, when she walked in the bathroom and realized what she'd done, she just started crying. Then Alba started crying. It was, you know, it was a lot. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't have left us alone. <laughs> so when do I get to meet your mom? My name is Isabella. I am a very rich and extremely horny woman. I hire young men and then I hold them captive and I hypnotize them. Yes, I am a mind vampire. That's how I made all my money. Now, sh you are. No, you are Alex. You are a business competitor of mine. I lured you to my castle, and now I'm going to have my way with you. If I remember correctly, Isabella wanted to do some things to Alex.
Isabella wants to go to sleep. Maybe have a big glass of wine. Probably just go to sleep. <sighs> Hun, I just pulled a tooth out of our sleeping daughter's mouth. And in about six hours, I'm going to have to wake up and go wait in the bathroom while she does a crap. Because ever since you've been gone, she started having that bathroom ghost nightmare again. I'll let you know. Off the highway at Bellevue Lake in one hour, we're gonna talk, and if anyone sees us, you're gonna slap me and storm out. Do you get it? Yeah. Well, fidelity, bravery, integrity, terrible coffee. Bellevue Lake, that place has terrible coffee. Fidelity, integrity, bravery, terrible coffee. who had my number in California. I think to not be directly engaged in fighting for environmental causes today is a kind of moral cowardice. And it's easy to forget that the rest of the world exists when you're in LA, but out here, you, you can reach out and you can touch it. I've only ever been in love once. Uh, it was with a girl I met when I was 18, but I was too young and naive to handle it properly. And I guess I still carry a torch for it, which makes me an incurable romantic or underdeveloped emotionally. I'm a loyal friend. I like girls with nice smiles. Nice smiles. He was in California for money. Back in California, I knew this group that protested the Diablo Canyon Road. You know, that uh, power plant up there. And I knew him from in and out of Venice, but it impressed me. You know? I really did. And I moved back up here just to... Well, it's always a lovely night in California. Want to hear a joke? Okay, why do pigeons always fly upside down over Detroit? Because there's nothing worth crapping on. <laughs> we used to date back in California, but that's ancient history now. You must be Ava. You know who I am, but. Are you Alvin's mom? No, no, not the maternal type. Who's Alvin? David. Karen, this is not okay. Sorry, honey. I was in town and I wanted to call in on you. I saw your man out, but I didn't realize you have company. Yeah, we're gonna talk about this outside. No, I called her, but I, you know, I like surprises. Well, that was odd. I've read Karen's report three times now. Unless I missed it, nowhere in the report is there an operational justification for the assault on the individual codenamed Sleep. Yes, she's called Glowy. It's four in the morning, babe. Sorry. I don't have much time. I'm going to bed. Come wake me up when you're done. You're a fucking vampire. Hi, Glowy. 
A baddie? Your daddy. Jesus. Hi, Glowy. A baddie? Your daddy. Jesus. I'm Alba, and this is Glowy. Are you a baddie? You're in my daddy's daddy house. You got, you got glowy though, right? No, you did? I'm glowy. I lost her. I get a fever that's so hard to bear. You give me a fever. Because at her age, it could be dementia. But she hates hospitals, you know. She's convinced that the doctor's had it in for Papa, and that's why. He... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just blowing it all out of proportion. But... Look, I'm telling you, she won't go. Okay, David, she's a grown woman. I'm not gonna trick her into going to the doctor. Yeah. I know. She's ill. You know, she's got the mention. Sure. Sure can. But you better behave yourself. <laughs>
don't believe in karma, but after I shot that FBI agent, the market picks up and I end up selling my two apartments and making a profit. I briefly think about going back into real estate. <laughs> Fuck that. Instead, I will move to New York and set up my own cam agency. We won't make much money, but we'll never lose much money either. And everyone will get paid what they're worth.